Welcome back. <laughs> Go on. What are you looking at? The camera. Oh, I see. So you're talking to yourself, yeah. right? Okay. Have your beep, beep. Welcome back to Brazen Brits. My name is Lawrence, and I'm Natalie. And over the past six months, we have done four thousand miles. In Sixteen states. Florida. Georgia. South Carolina. North Carolina. Virginia. Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, New York again, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida yes, again. Yes, we did it. We did it. And we had way too many shots trying to get that right. Now I've just ruined it by telling everyone. But we have done 21 campsites. We did two harvest hosts. And we did one mooch docking. Thank you, Dan and Tracy. We're going to give you our 2023 Brazen Brits Travel Awards, Travel Season Awards. We've got some awards coming up, and we're going to tell you how much all of that cost. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, it makes me wonder. All right, like we said, we, we went through all of those states, mm -hmm. and there were a few things about certain states that we either found interesting or annoyed us. So we have some awards here. Mm -hmm. Most of them are positive. There are some negative ones. We are sorry if that offends you. <laughs> so. We have a few categories here. Oh, do we? Categories? We do. How long is this going to take? We, we talked about this list and I put them into categories to make this much more professional. So of the first one did. is attractions. Mm -hmm. Then we have campgrounds, because okay. there's a few notable campgrounds. Then we have food and drink, okay. which isn't normally a category that I like, but we have to mention these things. And then we have the state awards. Okay. We have a few awards for each state. So anyway, the first one, we'll run through them real quick. Yeah. Then we'll get onto the prices as well. The first one, are attractions. What was our favourite overall attraction? Well, I know what yours was. I know, that's obvious. Shawshank. It was, the prison in Ohio, the Mansfield State Reformatory. <laughs> By the way, I also apologise, let me just pick it I apologise uh, if you can hear our smoker. We have a smoker in the background because we're smoking a... And I'm hungry. A beef joint. I oh, know, it smells really good out here and it smells funny and it's uh, annoying. Okay. Okay. Do you agree with that? Uh, it was a very good attraction, but I would say for me personally, it was the lighthouses in Maine. And really? I'm going to say that generically, but the Forrest Gump one was really good because we could take the dogs on the rocks and that uh, was just that was a fun. really nice day. Yeah. So that was my favourite attraction. Okay. All right. All right. The most unexpected, unexpected <laughs> attraction. I think we both agree on this one for sure, it's, but there was another one that's it's kind well, what's of... the runner-up? The runner-up for this one was um, Presque Isle. I didn't know it was there, so that was unexpected oh, okay. in that sense because I just booked the campsite because I like the name and then realised there was like a whole place there that me and Steph then went exploring. Yeah. So I say yeah, that that's unexpected. Good. Okay, but no, I mean, by far the winner for me is the Temple of Tolerance. So bizarre. Such also, a, such a in strange... Ohio, Ohio has the top two attractions so far. Oh, that's true. All right, best hiking. This is all you because I work and you hike. Yes, absolutely. So my top hikes for our trip this season was Mount Willard, which was near the Presidential Mountains in New Hampshire. Um, and I didn't really mention it on here, but I'm going to the one that we went up to that Massachusetts the big monument if you watched that oh, episode yeah, that was cool that was a good hike that was a good two hours as well but Mount Willard wins for me or you can just drive up in like 10 minutes that's what that I Lawrence did. did okay the best dog event again this is all you no well idea. I didn't get to do many dog events on this trip but Julie did introduce me to the wonderful Linda who runs the what's it called one smart dog and that's in Seville Ohio again um, as a fantastic training facility we went and did some agility stuff there um, highly recommend you check it out if you're in the area is this next one in Ohio as well this is the last one for the attractions but the best adult beverage attraction no, and we did far too many this year so <laughs> to win this is a big thing it was not Ohio wasn't it? It was spectacular. It was spectac it's speculator. spectacular. It's <laughs> spectacular. Not spectacular. In New York. Uh, so it's in New York. So this was really unexpected because we only went out for a dog walk we and did. we agreed. And the Route 66 thing. That's why we the were The Route there. 66 thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then we stumbled upon this and we agreed that we would not be day drinking oh. and that didn't work out. Within literally five hours of saying that, we ended up at a beer and wine festival. <laughs> Second category, campgrounds. Okay. I'm going to go from the bottom up here. Oh. So. The cheapest campground was Camp Conley, was it? It was. It's, oh, it's written guess. right here. Yeah. Camp Conley. It was good. We had some power issues, but it was empty. It was really nice. The people who owned it were lovely. Yes. Great place in Ohio mm -hmm. near our friends. Yes. So that's why we were there. Yep. Fantastic. Recommend it only because we have all of the inverter setup that we had. Yes. 
uh, if you had 50 amp power then there was voltage drop and it kept cutting out so that's the only thing mm. okay the most expensive campground forest ridge but for good reason it was for good reason one is it's a very established campground the owners are fantastic they're very helpful but the reason why it's so expensive is because it's right next to national acadia national acadia national acadia national, acadia national. Acadia yeah. National Park. So it's right next door to that, but we would absolutely recommend it. Great people, great place, yes. um, just expensive. All right, the best one for dogs. Oh, uh, you worded it this way. Well, okay, for dog for walks that are on the property is how I kind of thought about it. Okay. Adirondack Gateway. That was the one that had that huge field opposite the oh, yeah, thing yeah, yeah, and we yeah. could play ball and you could let your dogs off leash there. And yeah. it also did have hikes all the way around the back. And Yates Family Campground is right next to the NASCAR, is it? Oh, that was cool. Yeah, and so they let you, there's an empty parking lot next to the campground itself and you can just do really lovely big walks around there as well. So for yeah. Not for the dogs, campground. Not the campground was there, but the campground backed on to an empty parking overflow lot. parking for yeah. the speedway, which yeah, was always speedway, empty. Speedway, that was it. Yes. So, yeah. so that was great. Okay, the most unique campground. It's got to be Macintosh Manor. Yeah. I started off nervous about that place and by the end of it, it was just awesome. The yeah. owner was lovely. She they came bought it. They bought it the day we arrived. Yes. And so there were 10 campsites at, in the back of this manor yeah. and it was just really cool. And very she unique. gave us a tour of the manor and everything. It is their house. They're going to make it into a B&B, &B, but very lovely people. Very. Okay, and our favorite campground out of all of them we did in 2023. Ah, oh, that's tough. There's a few. I'm not No, I'm no. not. No, okay, okay. Well, Runner, runners up then. Oh yeah, runners up is going to be Duck Puddle, the whole reason we went yes. to Maine in the first place. Yep, that's true. Um, Second runner up? Forest Ridge was very nice. Yeah, but um, we've already mentioned We that. have mentioned that. <laughs> um, what was the one? Twin Mountains was in New Hampshire, oh, right? Oh, Twin Mountains, New Hampshire, that one was fantastic. The yeah. view there was amazing and the owner was awesome, amazing and everything. So yes. yeah, by far Twin Mountains was very good. But we did have to agree on this. Yes. It is Mountain Top RV Park, and that was in I don't know because Lawrence has deleted it off the page. It was uh, New Jersey. It was in New Jersey. It was Tri-State was the problem, so I'm just trying to think. It was right. Oh, on they that. gave us the award. Yes. I was trying to think of it. Okay, so they had a uh, yeah, so really cool. It's on by the Tri-State area. It's literally two minutes down the road. This is where we had the truck problems as well. Yes. So I try to forget this out of my mind. But yeah, they put us in a brand new space. They're expanding. They have yeah. really good power. They have really good internet. We had a really good time there. So that was that. Yes. Right, food and drink. I don't normally like doing the food and drink stuff, but there are some very much things that you Notable need to know. Places. Yeah, if you need to know this. All right, best chicken wings. The Dimmick Inn, Milford, PA, the oldest pub in Pennsylvania. We did go to the, uh, I can't remember, the Anchor Bar in Buffalo who who do the original Buffalo Wings and we Two do not recommend it. So we yeah, recommend. we don't go there. <laughs> I mean, you can go there. They do good food, but the wings weren't that great. Okay, best crab rangoon, which we've only recently found, we're sorry, and we love it. So the best crab rangoon? It was in the Alamo and that was in Poland, New York. <laughs> okay, the best pizza was at the Kushnok Brewing Company in Augusta, Maine. We also where we discovered the crab rangoon. crab rangoon. So we had a crab rangoon pizza. Actually, we didn't. We were meeting up with Hinton the Trail. Yes. Um, they used to be full-time RVers with a YouTube channel. Uh, they're not at the moment. They've bought a place in Maine, but we met up with them and we had this amazing crab rangoon pizza. 10 out of 10. We didn't. They did, but we stole it. We did. <laughs> All right. Best lobster roll. <laughs> so we had a couple in Maine, obviously, as you do, but Jim's parents introduced us to a homemade one, which was the Simmons Seafood Market in Maine, um, and they bought them from that market, and they were, oh, 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Best beer? Oh, goodness. Pennsylvania wins this award as well, and it was the Erie Brewing Company in Erie, Excellent. Pennsylvania. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Best cider? Oh, I can't forget this. This was the Death Ridge Brewery in Jefferson, Virginia. We... <clears throat> We're not very well after yeah. that, but it was, oh, just, wow. You know, when you go out for a couple of drinks, just have one. There's no need to have more than one. <laughs> uh, we got very, very drunk and we killed all of our batteries. All right, best uh, hard liquor. Well, 
we didn't really go to many distilleries, but the Kentucky Bourbon yeah, Trail. Yeah, the Bourbon obviously. Trail. It's everywhere. All the good stuff's there. You can't. Yeah, yeah the best. You can't area really go wrong. All right, and finally, the best wine. Oh no, sorry, this isn't the final one, but uh, best wine. Okay. Uh, well, we got a couple for this one. We did love the 53rd uh, Vineyard that Chief and D took us to in like the third or fourth episode of this series. Um, but we also did the Brotherhood, the oldest winery. winery that in was America. excellent. That, really good wine. They had some good mead there. So yes. both of those two places get an award for that. Yes. Okay, and I did. I added this because I felt like this needed a mention and it was suggested <laughs> by Jim, okay. who is a brassiere. Oh, yes. Top level <clears throat> brassiere, actually, Jim. So thank you for this. It's the most interesting restaurant and it's Coney Island Lunch. Yes. So and weird. this place, you have to go there. Like the the one, it's incredibly cheap for an amazing amount of food, mm -hmm. and two, it's like a seventies diner that has never changed. And I don't mean it's been made to look like a seventies diner. I mean it was a seventies diner that has not changed anything. The floor where the chairs are have divots in it where the chairs have wore <laughs> away. Like that's anyway. So there, Coney Island lunch. Okay, our first, our last category is the state awards. But I do also want to. Um mention here that I will list all the places below and where they are because sometimes we've kind of not really mentioned where it is and people are really oh, yelling at their screens yeah, where in, is this crazy look in the diner Lawrence yeah. I don't know we will list all of this in the description you know what I might even do a blog post so Ooh. I'll put a link for a blog post and we'll put it all in there as well okay <laughs> the final category this is the states we have a couple of good uh, a couple of our favourites and a couple of our not so favourites. So bear in mind this is all situational. Sometimes, you know, your experience of a place is depends on what happens outside of that. And maybe weather. you've had a crappy work week, maybe it's raining, maybe something happened there that you know. So just it all plays into it. it so please don't be offended. Right, the first one, the most expensive state, and I don't think this is a shock shock to anyone, to anyone on our trip that we did. It was Maine, obviously. It was Maine. Everything was expensive. Yeah. Groceries, gas, everything. Lodging. All right. The state with the worst drivers. I this can't had, remember what it was. You I were, wasn't going to put this on here, but I think it's important <laughs> to note. It was uh, North Carolina. I don't Our remember. entire experience in North Carolina, I don't know what happened there or what's going on, but we had so many bad driving experiences. Like, it made me <laughs> mad. So I'm I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> sorry, you lose. <laughs> I know we have lots of, we have lots of friends from North Carolina, and they're probably terrible drivers. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, <laughs> we we mentioned this because it was so unbelievable. The state with the most corn. Oh, Ohio. It's Is everywhere. It's like <laughs> every you, every road we went down was you, another cornfield. Yeah, I'm sure it's not. I don't. I think Julie said it's not edible. Um, corn, but some of if it is, you, but some of it was horse if feed. you're <laughs> homeless or you're nearly homeless or you're having problems, go to Ohio because there is what? unlimited corn there. You, you'd have to steal it, so don't do that. It's not, it's not edible. Don't you can eat it. That's How a bad horrible can, thing what, to it say. It might not taste very it, nice. Ignore him. Ignore him. <laughs> if I was homeless, I'd go to Ohio because I'd have endless amounts of corn. Why do you have raw? Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, right, the most polite people. Oh, that was Vermont. Yeah, it For was sure. Vermont. We definitely yeah. It had was a very friendly. Them. Yeah. Everyone was very nice. They were very nice everywhere, but Vermont Stood specifically, out. yeah. Uh, okay, our um, least favourite state. We, we had a least favourite? I put the least favourite because we have an overall favourite. So, oh, so I thought, had to I thought a... we would have some contrast here. I haven't told Natalie about this. Shall I tell you what mine was? Okay. It was Georgia. You are wrong. I know. You are very wrong. We have had lovely experiences in Georgia. Just this trip, it, it wasn't very interesting. <gasps> Just it wasn't. That's where the Macintosh Manor was. That was and nice. It, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, it wasn't very interesting, but it's not a bad state. No, it's not a bad state, but on this trip, that was my least favourite experience of a state. I have nothing to add to that because. Just, I can't think of anyone. There was I the manor and else. the smallest church, and then that's pretty much all we did. So, from our experience, this trip it was our least favourite state. Fine, but not overall. I love <laughs> if, Perry. I'm going to let Natalie think about it, and I'll overlay what Natalie's least favourite was if she doesn't. I'm not. Agree. I'm not even saying it. I don't no, want to offend. Don't offend it. Okay, percentage. the best state. <laughs> right, we're going to finish up now. The best state out of everything we did in 2023 on our trip for six months. Do, 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 do. New Hampshire. <laughs> It was, 100%. I love Maine, I do, don't be offended, but New Hampshire's stole, yeah. stole We loved everything, us. but I, I, do you know what the biggest thing about New Hampshire for us is I just didn't know anything about it. True, it was a complete and surprise. And so when we got there, it was amazing. The the I could just drive around New Hampshire for the rest of my life, I think. Gorgeous like The views. scenery was amazing. There was mm. a lot of um, 
uh, uh, touristy stuff to do there there's a lot of hikes it's out in the middle of nowhere in a lot of places especially our campground that we stayed at that was a really good experience so it was just really nice I just think picturesque. I just love yeah picturesque loved everything about New Hampshire me too and I like the people right is that everything oh costs everyone wants to be here for the cost okay <laughs> Quick, so move forward, we're not going to break this down too much <laughs> okay. um because obviously what people eat for eating out and stuff like that we're not going to go through everyone's budget on, no. on everything you want so we're going to tell you what we spent in gas and what we spent in campgrounds yep so again over six months it was four thousand miles we did 16 states we did 21 campgrounds two harvest hosts and one mooch stocking thank you dan and tracy from trading dreams and dream world images i'll put a link to his website because he's an excellent photographer travels around in his rv takes um pictures of things and then does uh, art shows so check thank out you. his website thank you Dan Tracy for letting us stay can I tell them a story about Loma just real quick so we stayed there and I said you know what Dan as to help you out I'm gonna mow your lawn for you <laughs> so he had a little ride on mower I said uh, ride on lawn mower it was out back so I said perfect I'll go get that so I went on the mower filled it up with gas started mowing and everything and then it stopped I didn't check the oil and I put a massive hole in the engine so again sorry Dan and Tracy start go fund me <laughs> Okay, so the cost <laughs> for fuel, we did 6,000 miles, uh, sorry, 4,000 miles, but we did a whole bunch of stuff uh, in between as well. So we've kind of counted that in because you have to go grocery shopping and things in between move days. It was $2,500 for six months. It's not bad. No, that's good. I would expect more than that. Yeah, I still think that's wrong, but that's, that's what it was. It could out be to wrong. Be. We might have calculated <laughs> it wrong. If we have, I'm going to overlay it below. Um, okay, and the campgrounds, this isn't wrong because we had a spreadsheet for this, or Natalie does, and so the campgrounds were $5,613.40. Exactly. Again, I think that's pretty good as well. Yeah, it's not terrible. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, $10,000 just for campgrounds to live in your RV for 12 months. I know, yeah. That's pretty much what you could do. Or cheaper, because yeah. we didn't all, always go to the cheap places. That's very true. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for rambling too much. Um, but if you like this video, please hit like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button. Even if you have already, can you just check? Because there's a lot of people saying, we don't see your videos anymore. And it's because they haven't clicked the bell button. So you don't get notified. Uh, you can also hit the thanks button because Natalie loves it when you do that. And you can hit, go on. And it's the time for our V-Show next week. Oh, and yeah. we do have just limited availability now for the meetup that we're doing on Wednesday night. So we will be there. Uh, we're there Tuesday. There is literally like a handful of places left if you do want to go to those sessions. We're yes. doing two sessions on the Wednesday night. All ticket proceeds are going to um, the charity. veteran charity that yep. uh, the WAGs are going to be doing on the Saturday night, I with, believe. Uh, with Today is Sunday, you mean the RV they're doing it with? Yes. So, you know, we're not not making any profit or anything others but we just want to see you guys so yes, yes please come to our meet up um, otherwise hopefully we'll see you guys at the show finally hit the join button oh, sorry. to become a brazier and support a couple of tits <laughs> we will see you next week <laughs>